Superfasters, how are you doing today? Happy Thursday and welcome to Superhero Week. Welcome back to Superhero Week, I should say. Look, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us, for having lunch with us. We're going to be joined today by the beautiful Trish Gowlett, who has lost 30 kilos on our program. Isn't that amazing? So give me a like, give me a love, let me know that you're watching and get typing away with all those burning questions because I know you've got them. So just before we start, uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Rosie. I have lost 13 kilos on super fast diet, um, feeling pretty fab. And I actually now work for Superfast Diet. Some of you who are on the program may know me as Superstar for Rosie. Um, yeah, so like I said, say hi so that I know you're watching. Get all those burning questions happening. Uh, we're kicking off more of Superhero Week today with the beautiful Trish Gowlett. As I said, she has lost 30 kilos on the unbreakable part-time diet. Um, this is your opportunity to ask her any and all of your questions. So please go nuts. And without much further ado, please meet the beautiful Trish. She's coming in. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, Trish, how are you, beautiful lady? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. How's your Thursday been so far? Yeah, not too bad. Nice and relaxing. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, so, Trish, take me back to pre-super fast diet. What was life like for you before you started this journey? Okay. Um, I've always, I suppose, I've always been overweight, but for the last, I suppose, I don't know, five years or so, I've just felt horrible and I've just, yeah, didn't really like myself much. So, um knew I had to do something. I've got a few health issues, which seemed to be getting more and more. Um, and I just sort of felt really lost. I didn't really know what to do. And then, um, yeah, I stumbled across a super fast diet ad in Facebook and my life hasn't been the same since. <laughs> what kind of other programs or diets had you tried before? Had you tried anything else? Um, I'd only really ever joined one other, which was the 12 week body transformation. Um, mm -hmm. And I only actually joined that because I had to have surgery and I got told I had to lose, you know, 20 kilos within a short amount of time and I didn't want to go on the shakes that the doctors were recommending. So of I did course. that one and, and it only worked, like it worked, but it was hard work, really, really hard. And I ended up having to go on the shakes anyway because I hadn't lost enough in the short period of time they wanted me to. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, that was the only one that I've actually ever really joined. But I remember as a child, um, one of my friend's mums was a dietitian. So at the age of 14, my mum had me going and seeing her. Um, and about 16 or 17, mum joined me up to Jenny Craig. <laughs> but it just, you know, as a young kid and as a young adult, I just didn't want to do them. I wasn't, you know, I just didn't like them. And I'd watched my mum diet my whole life as a child. We were constantly doing a new diet that was in the new idea or the woman's day every other week. And, I, yeah, so it's been always a big thing for me that, you know, probably need to lose weight, but I just couldn't find the right one to do it with. Until you found us. <laughs> exactly. It just clicked and it's been fantastic. Yeah. I'm just going to interrupt you for a second to say hello to a few people who are watching. Donna, hi. Uh, Keza, hi, how are you? Jenny's watching, hello. Um, Claudia and Claudia, hi, how are you? Angie, hi Angie, how are you? Hi Shelly, hi Sharon. Yeah. Keep giving me the love, you guys. You know that I thrive on praise and affection, so <laughs> go nuts. <laughs> um, so Trish, you were saying that you saw... Superfast Diet for the first time on Facebook. Do you remember what it was that drew you to the program? Yeah, so I was in a pretty low point then. I was, I've got Crohn's disease and I was having a three-day flare-up. So I was in bed in pain and knew I had to do something. Um, and I was just scrolling through and the ad came up and it was offering a week's free trial. Um, so I had a little look and 
I thought, ah, oh, yeah, it looks all right, but I'm not going to bother. And I kept going. And then I scrolled back and had a bit more of a read. And I went, well, it's a week's free trial. What have I got to lose? I'll, I actually thought to myself, I'll probably fail anyway. So I'll just give it a go and, you know, try it. But I did. I downloaded everything and joined up. And um, yeah, that first week just. First oh, week, we're having so a I few... thought, well, it's working, so I might just stick with it. And um, yeah, have. It's been fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic news. Um, so what did you think during your first week? Was it hard? Was it easy? Was it better than you expected? Yeah, so I chose to do the 5-2 um, mm -hmm. for my first week and um, I'd never counted calories before in my life. I'd never even really looked at a nutrition panel. And um, so that took a little bit to get my head around working out what foods I could eat. But I just followed the sample menu that was on the website um, for those first few days until I got the idea. And um, yeah, it was good. Got a few headaches in the first, towards the end of the first week. But um, by the second week, that had all settled down and, and it, just, it just clicked. It just really worked for me. So, yeah. um, so how did you choose your weight loss goals, Trish? Did you, did you start off with a big number in mind or, <laughs> or did you have a piece of clothing or, I mean, where do you start? Yeah, well, that was... That was a, I had to really think about that because I've been big pretty much my whole life. I'd never been a size 10 or a 12 or a 14 or anything like that. So um, I was sitting at a 2022 20, in clothing and um, I basically just decided, right, 30 kilos because I thought, well, that would take me back to 74, but I didn't know what that would look like on me. So I thought, well, I'll just I'll just go with 30. It's not too big a number, but it's still, you know, a fair chunk. And um, I also had another goal of I want to be able to walk into a shop, take a 14 off a rack, and it fit me. And I was able to do that in December, so that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, that's an amazing, amazing feeling. Congratulations, Trish. How long had you been a size, did you say 22? 20 to a 22, um, oh, gosh, probably, yeah, I'd probably been an 18 most of my adult, young adulthood, I suppose, until I had my first child. Um, so when I was about 28, I probably went up to a 20 then and just that was 14 years ago. So it's just sort of creeped up. I've always stayed around sort of 95 kilos, but just in the last year of the year before I started super fast diet, it all crept up even more and I put on an additional nine. So yeah, it um yeah, so probably most of my adult life I've I've been that big. So how did it feel walking to walking into a shop and buying that first size 14? Well it was weird. I was shopping with my sister and um we went to Rivers and I I was down to a 16 by that stage and I picked up a shirt and my sister said, oh, look, just go and try the 14 on as well. And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, it's not going to fit me yet. And so I tried the 16 on and went, oh, that's a bit baggy. And then I put, I thought, oh, I'll try the 14. I put it on and I just could not wipe the smile off my face. I opened up the dressing room door. I did a little dance in front of my sister. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. And she started throwing me all these other size 14 clothes. So <laughs> try them on, try them on. So Shopping speed. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was great. So, um, yeah, no, it was really, really, really good. It was just I had the best day that day ever. And, yeah, so now I'm definitely I'm in a 14. And the other last week, I was able to actually get into a size 12 skirt and shirt. So I'm even happier. <laughs> Chris, yes, well nice. done. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Um, I'm just going to interrupt you for a sec to say yeah. hello to a few more people. Hello, Carly. How are you, beautiful lady? Hello, Marianne. Lovely to have you. And Victoria is watching. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Vicky. And Victoria says, Trish, you look incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Nicola. Hi, Nicola. That's amazing, Trish. Congratulations. And Leanne is saying that's awesome, Trish. 
You're inspiring so many people, <laughs> Trish. It's awesome. It's awesome to be able to share your story like this. Yeah. Um, can I ask, what method did you use and why? Okay, so I started on the two-day method. Um, I just thought, well, two days of dieting wouldn't be too hard. So I started with that. And I stuck at that for about 13 weeks and I lost 10 kilos. Um, but then I started to feel like I wasn't getting enough food on my 500 days. Um, so I um denied with going to the three-day method um, for a few weeks and then I just took the plunge, changed to three-day. Couldn't believe how much food I could eat on my fast day out of 1,000 <laughs> calories. I thought I was cheating. <laughs> um, and then I thought this, isn't go this is going to stuff me up basically. Um, but I kept losing the weight. Um, and so then I decided to combine the three-day with the part-day method. So um, I've been doing that since September and lost the rest of my weight doing those two methods combined. So I eat wow. between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. each day. I'm um, not 7 a.m., sorry, 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. Um, each day and three days a week I stick at about 850 calories and the rest I stick at about 1,400 calories. So. Yeah, it just works. It clicks. It's easy. I love it. Do you find it easier than doing like a, a standard every kind of day diet? Yes, definitely. I found um, having to stick to a meal plan and buying certain foods was just really hard with a family. You know, I've got three young boys and trying to incorporate what I was eating with what they wanted to eat it was really really hard and and um whereas super pasta it's just eat what we normally eat i just um adjust my meal size to what the rest of the family has and it works i don't feel like i'm being left out or you know missing out if we have takeaway i enjoy a bit of takeaway but i actually don't even really like it anymore <laughs> i prefer <laughs> to go home and have a salad or a rice bowl or something like that so um yeah no it's it's definitely a lot easier on super fast diet um, with choosing what foods you want to eat. It makes it a lot easier. Oh, that's good news. And, hey, Corinne's watching. She says, hi, huge congratulations. You look amazing. Jackie Ann's watching as well. She says, hi to you, Trish. Hi. <laughs> Keep those questions and that love coming, people. We all thrive on interaction. Um, so, Trish, tell me about your results. Um, how much have you lost total? Yep. So this morning I weighed in at 31 kilo loss. So <gasps> pretty stoked with that. <laughs> Run. That is amazing. I've been, yeah, I've been really lucky. I've just sort of consistently lost between a kilo and half a kilo each week and I'm really happy with that. I've had a bit of a plateau about for the last few weeks. Um, but yeah, it's all kick-started again and thanks to the wonderful support from everyone in Superfast Diet Group and, um, yeah, no, it's it's been good. So I've gone from 104 kilos down to 73. Wow. Yeah. yeah. What about dress sizes? You mentioned it's 22 and you said you put on a size 12 the other day. Is that right? Yeah, so I've got two pieces of clothing that are 12 but mainly 14s, but they're starting to get a bit loose. So I'm hoping by the time the next season's clothing comes in all the jeans and everything I'll be into a 12 so yeah. definitely can I ask what do you eat on a fast day okay um Jen's gonna love me but I love my corn thins as well <laughs> I have um I break I so I fast until 11 a.m but at about 7 a.m I have just a cup of tea with half a teaspoon of sugar and a tablespoon of milk in it that just gets me through that morning um and then about 11, 11.30, I have usually three corn thins, 25 grams of Philly cheese spread and about 40 grams of ham, salt and pepper. And that's enough to um, fill me, I suppose. Um, then if I'm still hungry, I might have a banana or some watermelon. Um, then for afternoon tea, because when the kids come home, they're ravenous, so they're eating all the good stuff. And I'll have like some fruit or a yogurt or something. But um, it doesn't bother me what they're eating. <laughs> and um, then I don't eat until dinner. And then we just have our usual dinner, which is, you know, we're pretty much meat and three veg sort of people. And 
stir fries and that sort of thing. So it's pretty simple, but I just um, have about 100 grams of meat each night and then I have a big pile of veggies. Um, yeah, and if I'm still peckish after that, I, I'm really liking the um, jelly, the light jelly at the moment. Oh, yes. Isn't that a revelation? It's like two <laughs> calories for a quarter of a serving and that's enough to satisfy me. So it's good. Oh, good one. Good one. Um, what's life like for you now, Trish? You mentioned earlier that, you know, you were kind of over it and tired and, and had enough of dieting. Tell me what life is like for you now, now that you've lost 30 plus kilos. Yeah, it's, it's good. I'm happy. Um, I don't think I've ever really felt this happy before. Like I was always happy, but never, not my true happy, I don't think. I've um, definitely found myself. I've learnt to love myself and I've got a little bit more confident, I suppose. I've always had been a bit of a shy person and, um, yeah, I, I don't worry about what people think anymore. I don't feel like I'm being watched when I go somewhere, like school pick up or to the shops or whatever. It's just I'm just there doing what I've got to do and, and um, yeah, no, I feel good. I feel really happy. That's the only way to describe it really, just happy. So, Trish, if you had to summarise, I guess, how you felt before maybe shopping or how you felt before walking up the yeah. stairs, what life was like in general, what what would you say before and now? Uh, before, I hated shopping, especially clothes shopping, absolutely detested it. It didn't matter whether I was just looking or I had a specific thing I had to find, I just hated it. I could never find anything. I always felt really uncomfortable. I always had to go the baggier clothes. I'm not one for tight clothing. Um, so yeah, just absolutely hated it. Um, but you know, and I just never did any exercise. I hated doing any sort of outdoor activity. If we went to the beach or we went somewhere with the kids, they'd do it. My hubby would do it, but I'd just sit there and, and watch them. Um, and I felt horrible doing that, but I just I was too embarrassed to get up and, you know, join in, I suppose. Um, whereas now, love shopping. Um, hubby doesn't like it too much or the credit cards, but <laughs> <laughs> I love shopping. Um, and, yeah, I like going and doing stuff now, um, you know, going for walks, going with the kids, running around in the backyard with them playing soccer and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, definitely a better person now than I was. Fantastic. Hey, I've got a few questions coming in live, yeah. Trish. Do you mind if I ask them? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so Donna's just asking, uh, Trish, what are your favourite fast day things to eat, snack on, and your favourite drinks on a fast day? That's a good question. Okay. Um, drinks is easy. I'm a water girl. I love water. Just plain old water. Love it. Um, I do. If I feel like I'm getting hungry, I'll have a cup of tea, and that sort of puts the hungry monster away for a while. Um, food, I don't really snack so much now. I just tend to have my lunch, my dinner and, and like afternoon tea. But if I do feel snacky, I like almonds. I have about 10 almonds and that sort of gets me through. Um, the little bags of popcorn, air popped popcorn, love them. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just don't really snack. Oh, a laughing cow wedge of laughing cow cheese. Um, that's probably it really. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Nicola's asking, Trish, do you exercise as well? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, <laughs> up until last week, no, <laughs> I didn't do any exercise really. Um, but as of last week, I've decided, you know, I need, I need to start. Um, so I've just started walking and I've started yoga, which is interesting. Um, all in the safety and privacy of my lounge room with all the windows and blinds closed. <laughs> but, um, hey, however you need to start. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, no, I like it. It's a nice slow form of exercise and it, it, I feel good after it. I feel really good. Um, I'm waiting for the weather to cool down a bit um, before I can start walking more. But, um, yeah, be before that, nothing. It was all about the food for me and my portion size. So. Cool. Um, 
So Trish, what would you say to someone who was thinking about joining Superfast Diet but wasn't really sure if it was right for them? Yeah, do it, just do it. Um, it's so easy. Like it's, it's really adaptable to your lifestyle, your family. Um, yeah, just, just do it. Like you can find books. There's so many books on intermittent fasting now. Um, when I first started, I, I was reading one and, and it just helps get your head around it. Um, and all the articles in the website, the Superfast Art website, are really, really helpful. Um, yeah, I just think just try it. Like there's no harm in it. It's, it can only do good, be good for you. So, yeah, go for it. What about if you could reach through Facebook and talk to Trish 30 plus kilos ago um, before she started this program? If she was sitting there thinking, yeah. I don't know, yeah. what would you say to her? Um, I'd probably slap her around a bit and then, <laughs> and then say, Can you do it. Um, yeah, because that's exactly how I felt when I first saw the ad was like, oh, I don't know. But uh, it's the best thing I've ever done. It honestly is um, just, yeah, just do it. Awesome. Guys, keep those questions coming. This is your opportunity to ask all your burning questions of the amazing Trish who has lost 30 plus kilos on our program. Um, Trish, let's talk about those banana choc cookies. Ah. You shared a recipe in the Superfast <laughs> Diet group a little while ago and it kind of went off. <laughs> Everyone wow. tried them. Um, so tell us about the recipe and how, how on earth did you come up with that? I um, follow a lot of food things on Facebook. I love food, especially chocolate. Um, and it honestly, it just popped up on, you know, like taste.com or one of those cooking um, feeds. And, yeah, it was just so simple, three ingredients, bananas, oats and chocolate chips. <laughs> so just mix Too it all easy. together and cook it and, yeah, they're yum, really good. I haven't actually good made stuff. them well. <laughs> I know. I was looking at the post this morning and going, hmm, yum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the kids loved them too, so I didn't actually get very many of them, but, yeah, <laughs> they're good. Oh, Jodie's saying hi. She says, yay, Trish, with a little turtle icon. She's a slow turtle. <laughs> we love you, Trish. Um, we love you, Jody. Sorry, we love you too, Trish. <laughs> um, Joe, Joe is saying hi, Trish. Did you plateau along the way, and how did you handle it when it happened? Yeah, so I've been pretty lucky. I only had one plateau, which was just the last couple of weeks. Um, and I will admit, I, it was I was a kilo and a half away from my thirty goal, so it was getting really, really frustrating, and. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just let the mean girl came into my head a little bit and it took a bit to knock her down and, and thanks to the help of my super fast diet buddy Shelly um, and some messaging with her um, and some help from the, the group, um, I sort of got over it and, um, yeah, the next week I lost all that and I was below my goal weight. So I think you've, you've got to give your body a chance to catch up I think like to where you are and just have a little rest and then reset your goals and move forward um so I've thrown in a couple of extra 500 days um to get me over that um which have worked so I'm on the roll again and yeah I've been lucky only one plateau in 10 months so it's been good Wow, that's awesome. Great answer to that question there, Trish. And um, keep those questions coming, guys. That's why we're here. Um, Trish, what was it like when you first started? Did you get hungry? Um, the first, well, the first few days I wasn't overly hungry. Because of my Crohn's and I'd had my flare-up for three days, I hadn't really eaten, so my appetite was suppressed anyway. Um, but, no, I actually found the 500 days pretty easy um I just found salad like you can have a massive pile of salad and it's under 100 
calories. So, um, yeah, you just gotta gotta get your head around what foods are best for fast days, which have got more bang for their buck, I suppose, and stick with those on your fast days and enjoy all the other stuff on your non-fast days. So, um, and you know that tomorrow you can eat the good stuff if you're really craving chocolate or something. <laughs> you can have it then. Yeah. Uh, Shelly is saying hello. She says, so grateful to have done this journey with you, Trish. Super yeah. fast, buddy, for life. Aww. Yeah, absolutely. I love her. <laughs> She's been such a big help to me through this through this journey. I've never met her, but we just connect. And, yeah, I really recommend anybody in the program who's just starting out, if you find someone in there that you connect with, stick with them and, you know, see about private messaging each other just to help you get through those tough times if you don't feel like putting it onto the actual Facebook group. Um, yeah, it's it's really, really helpful, really good. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about the Facebook group, Trish, because it's something that a lot of people, um, it's something different, I guess, about yeah. the super fast diet is having yeah. that support network. Yeah. So how did it, it help it, you? Uh, I honestly don't think I would have gotten as far as I have without that group. Just having the support, like it's it's okay to have your family and everyone on the outside going, oh, you're losing weight, you look great, but they don't really understand what you're going through, um, whereas everyone in the group is going through the same thing. You know, some people might only have five kilos to lose, but there's other people that have got 20, 30, 40 kilos to lose, and they just get it, and it's just, uh, it's been just the best help to me the whole way through um, asking questions or even if I don't feel comfortable asking a question before you know it somebody else has asked that question and you've got so much help from everybody in the group um, that yeah it's just really really good and it's it's nice to go somewhere where when you're not feeling the best everyone just lifts you up and makes you feel better and and you can keep going on then so yeah the group is is fantastic. It's it's the best thing about the super fast diet program. I personally think. Yeah. A few more questions here, Trish. Um, yeah. What do you eat on your non fasting days? Oh, I so I still do my um, sixteen eight on my non fast days as well. Um, so I actually don't really eat that much more than I do on a fast day. So I still like my corn thins, um, but I'll have a little bit more for afternoon tea probably like I'll have um, some biscuits or some crackers um and some fruit and yogurt and and then I probably have a different type of meal like we might have pasta or rice or something on my non-fast days where I avoid um the pastas and the rice and the bread on my fast days so yeah but I, I don't eat lots of different types of food I I like sticking with what I know and I'm happy with that because I know it works. So, and I know it's just, it's safe and I know I'm within my calories with those foods and I don't feel like I'm, I'm missing out. Um, one thing I have done is I've never let myself feel deprived. So I love my chocolate and my ice cream. Um, so on my non-fast days, I'll have a low calorie option of ice cream. Like Aldi have these little tubs of, they're called Little Spoon, they're gelato or um, a sorbet. Oh, they're yum. <laughs> yum. So good tip. And they're only like 100, between 100 and 140 calories. Um, so that's my dessert. Or I used to be a big chocolate eater. Um, but at the start of the program, I, I decided I'm going to swap to dark chocolate. And um, so I now eat the lint flavoured dark chocolates. I love the raspberry one and it's only 50, 52 calories for one little square or 100 and, you know, 104 calories for a row. So I allow myself, I allow myself a treat each day so then I don't feel like I'm missing out. And I think that's helped me heaps, yeah. Um, Trish, have you noticed any differences in your health? Oh, <laughs> Massive difference. So with Crohn's comes a lot of other issues. There's um, joint pain, inflammation, fatigue, um, like dermatitis sort of things happening on your skin. Um, that has all um, lessened heaps. I got told in um, 
December that my Crohn's is in remission and it's the best news ever. So, and they said that's because the fasting for the 16 hours has just given my insides a chance to rest and heal a little. I'll never get rid of it. It's for life. But um, for the moment, it's it's under control. I've been able to reduce my medication for that. Um, in September 2017, I got told I had um, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. But in September last year, after losing 10 kilos, that was gone. My blood pressure's come down. And I've got sleep apnea as well. But um, And that's reduced as well. So I can sleep for a little bit without the machine every now and then. So, yeah, it's just, it's changed my life. Um, yeah, I can't, can't thank Vic and Jen enough for having such a wonderful program. It's just, it's just changed my life. Oh, that is fantastic news, Trish. A uh, couple more comments here. Jody is saying the Facebook group is so positive and Trish is super lovely on there. Oh, thank you. Um, and Victoria says, you are a superstar. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All these compliments. <laughs> um, guys, keep those questions coming because even after we end this broadcast, we'll jump into the comments and we'll answer them for you. Trish, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, it has been such a pleasure um, to share your story. And to everyone who's watching, we do have a half price special at the moment. It is $99 for 12 weeks, but it must end soon. So make sure that you do exactly like Trish did. Don't scroll yeah. past it. I'm Click on it. <laughs> Jump in and do it. Um, and when you sign up, you'll also receive a free copy of the Super Fast Diet magazine, that is which is sold out everywhere else. Yep. So this is the only place you're going to get your hands on it, guys. Um, we're going to wrap this up now. Uh, Victoria is saying such great news that you have improved your health so dramatically. Uh, Jill is saying, what an inspiration. Go on. Go, good girl. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we will be coming at you live again tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. with Shelley, who has lost 15 Yay. kilos. She is Trisha's super fast buddy. Thank you. Love you, Shelley. <laughs> So make sure you join us for that and keep asking those questions. We'll jump into the comments and we'll answer them later on. Th Trish, thank you so much for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Rosie. It's been fun. And we will see you on the inside, Superfasters. Superfastdiet.com. Join us. See ya. Bye.